writing. So I'm going to introduce a very special lady here. She is not only a dear friend of mine, but she is known and loved by all of America. Here is Miss Katie Steo, Miss America 2009. putting us together. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful job. So, what have you been up to? Uh, that depends on how much time we have. Okay. Uh, in about three minutes. In about three minutes, okay. <laughs> well, I can't believe it's been over two years since I was crowned Miss America for one, and then secondly, I can't believe I've been home from Miss America for over one year, and it's just this entire last year has been such an incredible journey, but ever since I passed on the title of Miss America, I came home and I really felt such an outpouring of support and love from my community. So instead of jumping right into the job market and taking a full-time career, I created my own business and uh, with my business manager, Mr. Michael Nash, who's here with me this evening, also a part of the Miss Indiana organization. And uh, we've been traveling the country, doing speaking engagements, working for nonprofit organizations, really giving a voice to a lot of people that need a voice or really didn't know how to use their voice. So that's what we've been doing for over a year now. And we're going to continue doing that. We're booked all the way through 2013 at this point, which is incredible. Yeah. Uh, but I've got a couple of other projects. Now that things are starting to slow down, and my husband and I recently got married about eight months ago, and just kind of searching for a little bit, of, little bit more stability in our lives, I did accept a position at a company in Indianapolis just this last week, and I start a week from tomorrow. I'll be working with Australian Gold. It's a tanning product company, uh, but really just working with them to develop a new product line, potentially in cosmetics and skincare, and working to be a spokesperson about uh, just responsibility whenever it comes to that and also doing it in a healthy and safe way if that is something you so choose to do and then after we create this product line actually be going uh, and doing all the uh, presentations on QVC so I'll be incorporating my broadcasting education and so that'll be a lot of fun that's of course several months down the road uh, and then the third aspect of what I've been doing now is still working on my children's book I'm now in my 19th month with my children's book I, I had no idea it took this long to get something published, but when you think about it, it's not, you have the idea, you have the creative a aspect that you want to put into it, you actually write it, you get it uh, illustrated, which for me took over a year to do, and then you go to a wonderful graphic designer and they choose all the regular, all the colors and the fonts and how many paragraphs need to go on each page, and then you finally get to publishers. And uh, so like I said, I'm in my 19th month with my children's book entitled I Want to Be Miss America, telling my story as a little girl. So we'll see uh, just how much longer it's going to take before we can put that on shelves. But it's a project that has really become such a, an extension of myself. Uh, it has so much of my heart in there, and it's just teaching little girls that being Miss America is not about wearing a crown and winning a pageant, that it's about being a good role model, what all of these amazing contestants up here stand for. And that's what I want to share with the world. So those are all my projects. Lots of, you know, yeah, lots of irons in the fire right now, but I love it. It's a variety is the spice of life. Yes, it is. Well, anything else you want to add? Well, I, I could go on forever. No, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. No, I'm just uh, really appreciative to be here this evening. I think it's absolutely incredible that we are adding local pageants for the Miss Indiana organization. This year we're going to have 33 contestants at Miss Indiana. So thank you to not just you as a local director, but to all the local directors who are here this evening. Uh, just want to give you as much love and support as possible because we know what you do uh, and do it on a volunteer basis, which is absolutely incredible. So. Uh, you have our love and support, and thank you for loving and supporting this organization as well. Well, thank you for everything thank that you, you have done for very our much. organization. No, it's my pleasure. I love it. <laughs> thank you. We're going to bring her back at the end. Is it? Do you want to stay? I've got a script. You can read it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're going to make me. Let's give her another round of applause. Award goes to contestant number two, Ashley Zyner. Oh.
right, winning a $100 scholarship is contestant number four, Kirsten Laurent. Good night. 